Hey guys, what's up? DJ Man here, back for another video. In today's video, I want to go ahead and talk about what the perfect Dragon Ball Z game to me would be. And the reason why I want to kind of do this video is because this is kind of what's been on my mind for a while now. And also, I want to kind of start off this year with a bang because this is either going to be my first video of the year or at least one of the first videos of the year from me. And I wanted to do something special or something that I think would be kind of interesting to talk about. And also, I just wanted to add on that the perfect DBZ game to me would probably kind of be like a fusion between, you know, if you take like little bits and pieces from previous DBZ games and kind of like put them together and that would be my perfect DBZ game. And I'll be explaining that throughout the video. You'll get the cues and all the like, all those things online. And without me rambling on even further, let's go ahead and get started with what the perfect DBZ game to me would be. Okay, first off, let's go and start with the gameplay and what I would want it to be like and the gameplay the way I would want it to be like is that I want it to be kind of like a 3D environment, kind of like what it's been like for the past few years with, you know, Tenkaichi and Raging Blast and what they're going to be doing with Battle of Z. You know, I want it just that 3D environment and everything like that. And another thing I want the game to be, to have is like, you know, have kind of like a tag team slash battle royale type of feel to it where you can just have a bunch of people battle each other at the same time. Kind of like what they did with Battle of Z and tag team on the PSP. Another thing I would like to see are like fusion moves and, and or like team moves, you know, pe you know, characters coming together to make one ultimate move or something along those lines. Kind of like what they did in Super Sonic Warriors 2 for the DS and also what they did with Tag Team on the PSP. And another thing I would like to see with the gameplay is also new and cooler moves. I know they've done a lot with the moves over the years, but you know, just to see them add on to it is always very nice. Okay, the next step into making the perfect DBZ game to me would be having just a huge character roster, you know. I want a character roster that ranges from the original Dragon Ball all the way through Dragon Ball GT. Throughout all the movies, I just want a huge character roster, you know. They did a, a, a terrific job with Tenkaichi 3. I just want an even bigger roster than that this time around. And I know, I know you probably are thinking, hey, wait a second, you know, a lot of characters means there's going to be a lot of useless characters that we're not going to really want to play as, you know, like, who really wants to play as Garlic Jr.'s minions or play as Torless's, uh sidekick minion type people. I mean, who's going to really want to play with those? And my solution to that is kind of like fuse those characters together into like one person. Kind of like what they did with Bobbity in, in Tenkaichi 3, you know. They didn't have Fui Fui and Yakon as separate characters. They were actually move set moves for Bobbity, like he would actually summon them to do an attack form. That's my solution to ha not having too many useless characters. It's like fuse them together to where they're, like, they're attacks for each other. And I think that would really work. And another add-on to characters would be what if characters i mean people just eat that up and i'm one of those people that like to see like what if fusion moves you know what if transformations you know i just love that and i would love to see a whole bunch of what if types of characters in the game that would be in my perfect dbz game next on my list would be the graphics and the graphics i want them to use are the graphics from dragon ball z burst limit those were just so beautiful and i would just love to see those graphics again done in a tenkaichi 3 style of fighting you know, it's just, it'll just be beautiful to see. The next thing I want to talk about are game modes. And the kind of what I want the game modes to be like is kind of like what they did with Tenkaichi 3. Because Tenkaichi 3 just had so many different game modes just that for you to have hours of fun outside of the story mode. You know, they had plenty of different tournaments to do. They had arcade modes. They just had just a bunch of stuff to keep you busy outside of the story mode. And that's what I would like to see in my perfect DBZ game. Just stuff to keep you busy outside of the story mode. That's actually fun and entertaining next thing would be online i'm not really the biggest online gamer but you know i do appreciate a good online that actually works so a good online that works smoothly is just a big thumbs up to me okay so the biggest thing to making the perfect dbz game to me would be the story mode i just want the story mode to just to be humongous i want the story mode to be so big that i wanted to actually be split into three different parts and i'm going to be talking about those three parts right now Okay, so the first part would be the story spamming from the original Dragon Ball all the way through GT and through most, at least through most of the movies. You know, this is where the big character roster comes in, where you just put all those characters that you have into the story and you just play through the game and just, I just want to, I just want the scale of the story to be just that big, you know. This is kind of like where Tenkaichi 3 kind of messes up. You know, they have the characters, but they don't have the story for the characters. I'm pretty sure they would have been able to do this, but... They just normally only have like a year to make the game, so that's where that falls off the end. The next thing we'd like to see is that the cutscenes in the game, you know, they just a lot of cutscenes, you know, kind of like what they did with Buddha Guy 1. You know, they were able to do it over a decade ago with the PlayStation 2 with Buddha Guy 1. So why can't they do it now? You know, just plenty of cutscenes. I would just like to see the cutscenes just fleshed out like that. They don't have to be the 
best looking CGI in the world or anything like that, but it's just be nice to see that. And uh, another thing I would like to see is how you progress through the story. Like I kind of kind of want it like what you do in like Buddha Guy 1 or Tenkaichi 1 or Tenkaichi 3 or Raging Blast, where you just go in, you pick your story, you do your fight, and that's it. You know, that's kind of like where I want to, how I want to progress, you know. I don't need to be flying around or anything like that. It, it's nice to do that, but I think that's been already been overdone, so just make it simple enough to do that. Another thing I would like to see would be them have is like an RPG element, kind of like what they did with Budokai 3, you know. In Budokai 3, you were able like to, as you progress through the story, you got points to where you can upgrade your, like, your health on your character or your key or your attack power. You know, I kind of want just a little bit of an RPG element because I like, I always like leveling my character like that, so that would be cool. Okay, so the second part that I would want to see is just a bunch of what if scenarios. I mean, who doesn't love the what if scenarios? I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of DBZ fans know the story of DBZ like the back of their hand. So it's nice to see something cool and different when, when they do that type of stuff to the story mode. And I just want a bunch of them. I don't even care if they even have to take some from previous installments and put them into this game because it would just still be fun to, to play that in the best I think the game that did this the best was kind of was really Super Sonic Warriors 2 for the DS because each character, I'm pretty sure each playable character had their own what if storyline within the game and that was awesome. I'm not saying that it should be up to that scale that every character should have their own, you know, uh, what if storyline to follow, but I'm but I am saying that I would just want to see a whole bunch of different what if scenarios. That would just be amazing. That should be in my perfect DBZ game. And the last part, but not the least, would be create your own character what if story type of thing. You know, you, you kind of like what they did with Ultimate Tenkaichi. You know, you got to create your own character and they set you off on your own little adventure with your new character in Ultimate Tenkaichi. But this time I want it done, you know, better. <laughs> How else can I put it? I just want it better in all shapes and forms, you know, better customization and, you know, a better story to go along with your what if character, you know, just be nice to see that. And again, that is what I want to see in my perfect DBZ game. And there you guys have it. Those things that I just talked about is what would make the perfect Dragon Ball Z game to me. Now, let me just do a really quick recap. And those things would be, you know, just awesome gameplay, a huge character roster, Beautiful graphics, plenty of game modes to keep you busy outside of the story mode, a good online, and of course, the most important of all, a huge story mode. That would just make the perfect Dragon Ball Z game to me, and hopefully you guys agree with my opinions. Now, what, what I want y'all to do is go ahead and leave comments down below on what would be the perfect DBZ game to you, if you agree with me, what you disagree with me with, you know, just leave all your different comments down below. And as always, if you like this video, like the video, and if you like me, subscribe to me. And as always, this is DJ the Man, and I'll catch y'all next time.